We made a video a few weeks back where I bought Jimmy some amazing presents. What does that mean? He's cool, isn't he? What just happened? You guys loved it, so I've been online shopping again. And I found some stuff from Timu. Are we doing this again? I'm not, I'm not miserable today, I'm actually in all right mood. I'm optimistic. I hope you haven't bought some junk. This is a thoughtful present because you broke the last one. This is not gonna end well, Francis. Electric bicycle horn, 120 decibels. Mini size, light and simple, easy to install. Fastening does not fall off. Three pounds and seven P. So the last time you bought me a bike horn, I think it claimed that it was 300 decibels, which everyone rightly pointed out means that your head would explode. We eventually managed to turn it on and it wouldn't turn off. So we had to dismember it. Is your ear protection just a food? Ah! It's so loud! I wouldn't know. Apparently it's loud, I wouldn't know. Come get your cameraman! <laughs> there we go. Yeah. It's a weird noise though, isn't it? Can I ask you a quick question? Uh, it depends how quick. Does this sound like a bike horn to you? Yeah, I didn't think so either. No. The horn, as predicted, sounds horrible and doesn't sound like a horn. Um, do I like it? No. I don't think people are going to move out of the way. They're going to assume it's like a metal shutter going down or, or something industrial rather than you being on a bike riding towards them. Using our magical uh, Chia rating of zero to seven, four, because there's a possibility you can scare a couple of people on the way, which is kind of funny. Doesn't no one knows stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Your face as well. I, you're not even joking. This isn't like even it. for the camera. You are literally going, please stop. It. It's not funny anymore, Jerry. <laughs> well, that backfired, Francis. What have you got for me next? This was £5.39. It looks like shit quality. At first, I was primed by that shape. I thought, I thought it was going to be a top cap mirror. And I was like, well, if it's in front of you, you're not going to see anything. <laughs> Imagine that little mirror in front of you just to check you like you haven't got snot running down your face. But it is actually a mirror which you put in your bar end plug. So you, you actually see touring people with them quite a lot. Uh, so you can kind of glimpse down at your drop and see what's going on behind you. I've actually always wanted one of these. It's over engineered, isn't it? Well, you've used one of these before. What's... Me and Chris Hall used an official version of this. I think this is a ripoff from a company called The Beam. French company, and we used these when we cycled across Australia. Despite it being a tiny mirror, they were really good. We could clearly see behind us, and it was really important in Australia because the big trucks that come past, the road trains, uh, you don't want to be at the passing point. It was actually really good. And this looks almost identical for five pounds. It says here that I'll be able to see another bicycle from 40 meters away and see a car from 100 meters away. And I was struggling to see you from about two meters. It's too small. Was your, was your Australian one that small? Yeah. And, and it worked. Like, you, can get a, you can be like, oh, I guess there's something there, but you'd have no idea what it was. It would have to be so close, you'd hear it. You would know it was there anyway, because you'd hear it. I'm going to give it four out of seven, because you kind of could get a, a gauge for something being there. I just don't think it's great. It's too small to get like a reflection shot, isn't it? <laughs> You're such an idiot. A bicycle rear view mirror, wrist strap. <laughs> You've gone bright red, you are enjoying this so much, Abney. <laughs> Look at that face. Wrist strap, okay, cool. I've got wrists. Four pounds 94. It says length, 30 centimeters. What about this is 30 centimeters? There is nothing there that's 30 centimeters. I, I don't have the biggest wrists in the world. In fact, I have relatively skinny wrists and that barely fits me. Very, very uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, just what you want when you fall off your bike. I want to say that this is actually a good one and it is, you can see much better and you can position it in lots of good ways so you can actually ride and see what's going on behind you. So you do get a good view of what's going on. However, it's so uncomfortable that like, look at this, look at the state of that. Like it's, oh, it's already digging into me. Baby. And that's about as short as it goes. 
That's not going to fit on a big beefy boy like Nick Vieri. This is not going to fit on my wrist. I can't even get it. I won't be able to use my hand if I tighten it. Two out of seven because it's hideously uncomfortable and I will already want it off of my wrist. From what I can see thus far, I'm going to assume it's either a washing line or a tow hook for when you get stuck in the mud, like they have on like big four by fours. It's a device so we can go riding together. You're saying you put it on your handlebar and then hook it onto someone else. That's, a, that's, he's, whoever you're towing is always going to be that distance away. That is dangerous as. Oh, this is so sketch. Oh, this works quite well. Can you feel, can you feel it? There is zero flex in the rope of the pulley system. So it feels very unstable and keeps pulling me really hard forwards. One massive plus for this product is that everybody who sees us smiles and it improves their day. So it might be dangerous for us, Jimmy, but for the greater good of humankind, it's gotta be a high cheer factor. I'm not pulling the brakes. That was quite fun. God, you have, I don't think I've ever seen you laugh so much whilst making a video. This is like off the scale with you. You, you, you so uncomposed, unprofessional. Anyway, so Francis just unhooked the hook from his bike and let go. It retracted and then immediately became trapped around my wheel. Oh, now it's trapped on the frame. Basically, it is dangerous. <laughs> And for that reason, we find it very amusing and had a great time with it. So I'm going to give it six out of seven. However, do not buy this product. It's dangerous. You may die. Do not buy it. Almost there. The weather's been bad recently. Ah, it's a bit wet. I know what this is. And I'm actually going to love this. It's a poncho, isn't it? Yes. Oh my god, it's small. Is that like a zippy or anything? I feel like I'm trapped. You look like Bruce Willis from Unbreakable. <laughs> Here he goes in the swimming pool. How do I look now? Good. I feel... You know like when you first get into clip, clipless... Weird name for clipped pedals and like you attach yourself to the bike and you feel very connected to the bike. Mm. I feel like the bike and I are now one unit. I think this potentially is the, the best on the list. 6.5 out of seven. Uh, I feel like it's a pot of super glue. What? That looks dangerous. This was two pounds 69. So it's clearly designed for cars and motorbikes, which means we're probably going to die. Oh, it's got a weird little adapter. Right, so you screw it onto a valve and it flashes. Made of high quality material, different color for option. The light will be off when the vehicle stops, on when it runs, and flash when you are driving at night. Bring more enjoyment to your drive. But you wouldn't be able to see it if you were driving a car, so how is it bringing more enjoyment? The in innards are like falling out. Can you see that? Well, it was £2.69. I think I'm, I think... Oh! It looks very underwhelming through the camera. It looks very underwhelming in the room as well, Francis. Is the light working, Francis? No. Is it actually? It's actually not, is it? It's legitimately not working. I, just, it's, it's, let's not even talk about this anymore. Zero out of seven. Done. It's over with. It's a piece of junk. Game over. See you later. Next. That was an anticlimax. What do you have for me next? Oh, stickers. Stickers? I'm hoping. They're all the same. Cycling isn't a hobby for me. It's my inner peace. Wow. Waterproof stickers, £1.28. It's a good present. I love my bicycle. My bike make me happy. <laughs> I like that one. B? Don't know what you're doing that. Fixed for life. Uh, I'd ride anywhere with you. Germany, Netherlands, France, Norway, Ireland, or England are the options according to this though. <laughs> I'll be honest, Francis. I think you bought these for you because you love sticker bombing stuff and I despise sticker bombing things. 
I think, I think this is a selfish endeavour. It's like when Homer bought a bowling ball for Marge. Life being old is good. Riding a bicycle make it better. 50 of them. I think that's a win. I think that's a good present that's pretty. for me. I didn't know what it was until I saw a very distinct word on the side. I like the um, embossing, that's quite nice. Keithian design eyewear, Keithian. It's taken a bit of damage. I have wanted uh, some glasses like this for quite some time. I thought you did. I was actually inspired by our friend Christian Pletten, the Norwegian adventurer. So if I'm not mistaken, the principle of this weird little side thing is to stop bright light reflecting off of snow into the side of your eyes. Or sand, if you go to Burning Man. Oh, they're f***ing huge. <laughs> you think they're too big? Well, like, pretty much all glasses are too big. Oh, for f*** off. Are you f***ing joking? And it's the same principle, his little link. <laughs> his little link from something small to something bigger. I've got a small face, so glasses look stupid on me. So has he bought some bloody clown glasses or something? <laughs> These are honestly spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> so, They're not a spectacle. I'm so happy with these. This might be the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. I need a big reveal of this. How do I look? <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so, so happy you got the glasses that fit you now. <laughs> these glasses are my new favourite thing in the entire world. We're going to go into Backyard and we're not going to say anything about the glasses and see how long it takes for someone to go, what the f*** are they? What do you think of my new, uh, my new bike? What are you doing to him? Like, yeah, he's out of London now. He's supposed to be less London and more northeast. Why, why is he like reversing? What's this like? What are you talking about? Which bit? What, what you... Why is he cut his um, mattress liner out and made a jacket out of it? Rear view mirror? Yeah. yeah. Another rear view mirror which goes on your wrist yeah. but so uncomfortable. Is that a rear view mirror close onto there? What? What do you mean? Is that more aero? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> do you not like him? No. These are from ENDS, these are thousand pounds. The big ones, four pound 18, the little ones, one pound 79. These little ones, I actually kind of like both of them. I know they're ridiculous. These are like some weird, like Pharrell Williams, Kanye West thing, isn't it? You can imagine like Pharrell rocking out in his like weird Gucci outfit that's massively oversized and then little baby glasses to go with it. Whereas these, they don't suit me, but I really like them. As expected, cheer factor for these glasses is 10 out of seven. I think this is a extension off the front of your bars to mount shit. Useful, I used to have one of these, not as big as that, a long time ago. The bike lights when I was a commuter. Quite often with the way bars are taped and cabled, there's not a huge amount of space at the front of the bike to mount things. Especially if you want to be like uber safe and mount a couple of lights, which is what I always like to have two lights on the front. So that creates space at the front that you can put a bazillion lights, a bike computer, a camera if you wanted to record can traffic or just your bike rides. One, you could have, you could have multiple cameras, one forward, one back, one to the side. You can mount loads of that. We actually should probably be using these on a, when we're collecting riding B-roll. It actually comes with some shims, which as we found from these kind of products is quite rare. So that's gonna fit on a mountain bike bar or also uh, hopefully, a normal road bike bar as well. What was the price on this one? I would hope that it is a couple of quid. £3.59. Sensible. Sensible purchase for once, Francis. Well done. The shims, the fixings are the wrong size, so it as tight as you it's as tight as it can be, and it still does that. Which you could probably argue gives you the option to, you know, like reposition on the fly. Oh, it's a little bit higher than I want it to be. I'd like my lights directly below me. It's a shit product, Francis. The bar is too long. So it kind of like, like it gets in the way of like, keep knocking it and keep knocking it and bashing it. It's a bit long, I'd chop it down. Which you could easily do yourself with the right tools. I would give it a three. Is it the last thing? This last one, Jimmy, is the most expensive thing on the list and was 41 pounds 48 P. You're an idiot. 41 quid? Are you joking? It's got an adjustable back support. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you need your backrest, higher up your back. What, what, what am I gonna do with it? So the only way we can do a backrest test 
is by stopping and holding onto a fence post because, as we already knew, it's a stupid idea. So this is how far away, bearing in mind these handlebars are already quite upright. There, that is touching my back. Would well, you feel comfortable? Uh, not really, no. The saddle's too wide. It's like, it's so wide that like, I'm just sitting on flesh. <laughs> flesh? <laughs> it's a very, I feel like I'm fleshing myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's so comfy, it's so comfy. I don't know what that was. I don't know what you're talking about. I think that's really comfortable and you should be thankful for your gift. You can stick it on your bike then. I will. It's going straight on Scott Foyle. Ah, this is how you get on and off. Look, see, can't get off. Put the backrest down. Easy. Yeah, I thought about this. Good design work. Good, good bit of product design. Give it a <laughs> My trousers just dropped there. That is quite comfy though, I have to say. <laughs> Jimmy rating of Zero. It is never ever even going to be considered as an option. Ever, ever, ever. It is a zero. It is such a stupid product. I hate it. It's crap. It's pointless. Who would be able to get their back on the backrest on a bike in that position? It doesn't make sense! It worked better on the end of the way. That's, that's where they're designed. That's where they're designed to, to be worn. Oh, what? Yes, <laughs> uh, it's, it's not my first time wearing this, actually. It's... <laughs>